and Australian arms dealers. They will lock the future and break the past. But what if I am too tired to fight to get free? That is a poem by an Arab Australian woman. Recently, David Shoebridge, the Greens, pointed out in the federal parliament that the Australian government has secret military contracts with Israel. Why? Is the government complicit in the genocide in Gaza? Meanwhile, Israel's Zim company ships are traveling around east, the eastern seaboard of Australia, dropping into ports in Botany Bay and in Melbourne. What is on board those ships? Australian workers need to know this. The MUA, the Maritime Union of Australia, is not alone in placing bans on Israeli companies. However, they did take a stand at Portney recently and Paul Keating, not the one you're thinking of, but the MUA Paul Keating had this to say about the blockade against Zim shipping. So there you have it. What can I do for you? Um, Listen, um, maybe I can trim that out. The Electrical Trade Union, the ETU in Queensland and the Northern Territory, supports the Palestinian call for international solidarity by placing boycotts, divestments and sanctions against Israeli companies and goods. This includes work bans in Australia. Meanwhile, Australia has outsourced its defence industry to the United States by buying Orca sub nuclear powered submarines for possible future conflict with China. During a visit to FERA Engineering, that's F E R R A Engineering in Brisbane, on the 13th of April 2016, the former Minister for Defence Materiel, Dan Tehan, and the member for Bonner, Ross Vaster congratulated the company, the Brisbane company, on being a leader in the production of joint strike fighter F-35 components. It's an American company, but it's based here in Brisbane. The F-35 is being used to bomb hospitals, schools, and residential buildings in the Gaza Strip, and to bomb airports in Damascus, Aleppo, and Homs in Syria. They may even be involved in the dropping of white phosphorus on Gazan schools and on farmlands in southern Lebanon. Now here is Penny Wong's response to David Shoebridge's question about Australian government complicity in the genocide in Gaza. I'm going to bring it up here now. Oh, thank you, President. My question with our notice is to the Minister representing the Minister for Defence. Noting that a recent Department of Defence media release stated that more than 70 Australian companies have directly shared more than $4.13 billion in global F-35 production and sustainment contracts, and that earlier this month it was revealed that Israel has been ordering F-35 spare parts from global suppliers for the F-35s it is using in the bombardment of Gaza, can the Minister confirm whether or not Australia is or will be supplying F-35 parts to the State of Israel? Thank you, Senator Shoebridge. Minister Wong. Uh, thank you. Uh, I would first say, uh, and I, uh, given some of the events this week, uh, I would uh, uh, encourage uh, all in here not to uh, 
continue to promulgate some of the disinformation on social media. There's been a lot of disinformation on social media about what is Australia, what Australia is doing. Uh, I'm advised uh, that Australia has not supplied is weapons to Israel since the Hamas com Israel conflict began, and I'm advised that that is the case for at least the last five years. I would also make the point, uh, and uh, I trust that uh, the senators down that end might actually do their part to push back on this, this, this disinformation, uh, that the Australian government has not had any involvement in the conduct of the military conflict in Gaza. Uh, and given some of the misinformation on social media uh, and the distress and anger, and frankly, uh, some of the violent behaviour that we have seen, I would trust that those in the positions of authority well, that's enough. Uh, it's just uh, my, my ridiculous. Was there was a, was about whether... um, whatever the argy bargy is in in the parliament, these are legitimate questions that are being asked by trade unionists, by parliamentarians. Just how far has Australia gone in its supine? position on the, the genocidal war being conducted by Israel. Um, we, we, we remember that Australian government, not just on one occasion, but on successive occasions, abstained in the United Nations in a call for a ceasefire of that ethnic cleansing and, and genocide. They abstained. They sided with Israel. That itself is a war crime. How can the government minister acting, how can Penny Wong, Anthony Albanese, Richard Miles, the rest of them in the cabinet, how can they possibly hold their heads up? They obviously are worried that they are going to be made complicit in those war crimes. All power to anyone who is challenging the Australian government on its current stands. This is Ian Kerr. Day 46 of the genocide in Gaza, signing off.